Hello, I'm Shaza and this is Ripped On Books and I thought I'd check in with you on the Man Booker International Prize because I haven't done a video on it yet and it's one of the prizes that I really like because it highlights some really great translated fiction and I love my translated fiction and I thought I would start off by talking about two books that I have already read that are on the list um, and that is Mouthful of Birds by Samantha Schweblin and Jokes for the Gum Man as well and these are both short story collections and both with excellent covers. Um, so these are two books that I already owned prior to the list being announced. This one I had already read and this one, weirdly, they were both sitting faced out on my shelf. I, I said to myself that I wasn't necessarily going to read the entire long list or wasn't going to rush to it. I was maybe going to wait for the short list before I looked into the books too much. But the fact that these two were both faced out on my shelf, this one having already been read, this one there teasing me, I just had to pick it up. Um, so I thought I would chat a little bit about what I think about these, nothing too in-depth, um, just give me my quick snapshot thoughts. Um, so Samantha Schweblin, we all know that I love Fever Dream, which was the novel that was on the shortlist last year. Um, I absolutely love Fever Dream, it just it was so mind-bending and weird and brilliant, I adored it and I love that sort of dreamlike, strange, surreal feel and it exists in here too. Um, so I was really anticipating this coming out and I think it's an absolutely gorgeous cover design, um, absolutely stunning and I really really love this collection. I would say though that I definitely prefer Fever Dream but I think that that's only natural because I think what happens with short stories a lot of the time is that you maybe connect with a couple but not all of them and I find it interesting when short stories are included on a prize list. I always think that they seem like a strange choice as a winner. They're always nice to be on the list but I never necessarily see them winning. I'd love to um, but I feel like it's harder. It's harder to choose a short story collection over a novel a lot of the time um, because like I said you, you're, there's going to be some stories that are going to be stronger than others so it's almost like you're comparing a novel which is one piece of work to a collection which is multiple stories which is multiple pieces of work to judge and um, so in many ways I think that they they have more of a challenge in terms of being a, a considered a winner um, and that's kind of why I wanted to talk about these books because I I really really love both of these collections and also as I've read so far a couple of the other um, books on there I actually prefer these so far out of what I've read um, so this particular collection is still got that sort of surreal mind-bending feel and one thing that I love about short stories I'm still talking about these both kind of generally so I should probably hold them both up and um, one thing that I love about short stories a lot of the time is I feel like they leave a lot more room for analysis and interpretation and they allow you to wander a lot more and I think that they tend to be a lot weirder um tend to I don't know I feel like a lot of the time you're kind of reading it wondering what's going on and you kind of get to the end and I feel like I don't know sometimes they just feel like there's a lot more there's a lot more meaning packed in with a within the short space that's given for them um so I always find that quite interesting in short stories I don't read a lot of them but when I do I tend to really like them but I also find that they don't necessarily all stick in my brain but I think that's probably because I tend to read one after the other um but there's definitely within these both collections um there's definitely stories that stood out um so in this particular one um probably Mouthful of Birds, um, which is a story about this child who basically has a diet that involves consuming birds and it's really showing the disturbance of her parents um, and yeah it's, it's very very strange um, and surreal and the whole collection is but I just find her writing incredible and I find that at the end of each story I kind of want to go back and read it again and that's the experience that I had with Fever Dream. I rarely reread books and I reread that one because I just wanted to kind of analyse it and, and see if I could pick up a more and I just think that she's got this brilliant way of presenting things that you just end up wondering endlessly what the point is but not in an annoying way just in a endlessly curious way and um, so I really enjoy this collection. Jokes for the Gunmen so I I pre-ordered this ages ago um, largely based on I was looking at new translated uh, fiction that was coming out so I do that occasionally and then pre-order stuff and a lot of the time it's um, based on the cover which in this case it was. I'm not a fan of the font here it does kind of bother me a little bit but I love this imagery here um, and on the back as well and it's 
the, the image kind of really works with what's in here. So a lot of these stories are have a sort of el an element of war within them, um, but it largely focuses in, on individual characters. And I found the opening story, I forgot when I started reading this that this was a collection of short stories, I completely forgot. And pardon me, when I moved on to the second short story, I thought, oh, I felt really kind of disappointed because I really enjoyed the opening story, which is called Jokes for the Gunmen. And I felt really connected to the characters and I almost wanted that to be a full novel. And I still kind of feel that way. I feel like that, that I'd love to read that as more as a novel and for there to be more to it. Um, and I think my favourite thing about this collection is a lot of them really focus in on a child's perspective. And I, I've discovered that this is something that I really love when I read fiction um, because I realise that the perception of a child is so distorted and a bit off, a bit offbeat, and I, th I find that it, it allows me to kind of imagine myself as a child and to think about how I would um, perceive this situation or how children just view things in such interesting ways. You know, this this opening story is talking about this, this child who has this... Um, potted pepper plant and he believes that the, in within the peppers are souls, the souls of his family and when things kind of go bad or go wrong um, that he kind of connects the, the kind of dead pepper or the shriveling pepper or whatever with the fact that the, that bad thing is happening and that's representative and I love that kind of imagery um, and I, I found the writing here to be stunning and I found that I just love the majority of the stories in here and I struggle to kind of give a collection five stars, but I, I feel like this is definitely a strong, solid four stars. Um, and I feel like both of them just really, really, I thought they were really great. And I'm glad that they were listed on, on the list. And I'm glad that I kind of knew of them beforehand um, because I rarely, I rarely read new books. Um, I kind of used to maybe, but I don't really care that much anymore. I mean, occasionally, yes, I get, a, I buy a lot of new books, but I don't get to them for years after, is tends to be what happened. But these collections are great. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit from each of them so you get an idea of what, what they're like. So I'm gonna start with Mouthful of Birds. He's lost his ticket, and from behind the ticket window's white bars, the station agent refuses to sell him another, saying there's no change in the drawer. From a station bench, he looks at the immense dry countryside that opens out in all directions. He crosses his legs and unfolds the pages of the newspaper in search of articles that will make the time pass faster. Night spreads across the sky and far away, above the black line beyond which the tracks disappear, a yellow light announces the next train. That is the kind of opening of one of the stories that I found absolutely hilarious. And it's basically about this man waiting and waiting for this train because he doesn't have change. Um, I don't want to go into it too much, but it's just one of those ones that is this really basic story, but it's told in such a strange, bizarre way. Um, and I don't know, there, there's something really quite humorous about a lot of these as well. And um, they're very intelligent. I'd say that reading a quote doesn't necessarily give you the full kind of experience of what her stories are like. Some Sometimes I give quotes more to kind of give you an idea of how beautiful the writing style is. I feel like with Samantha Schweblin, it's more about how she constructs a story rather than the, the writing within itself. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant stories. I was even willing to break open my money box into which I had long whispered my dreams. I thought that whispering into the slot for the coins would make the money box fulfill all my wishes, because when you tell it your secret desires, it adjusts the amount of money inside, upwards of course, so that it matches the cost of those dreams. So that kind of illustrates the, the more sort of the childlike perspective on things. Um, to give you an example of like an opening sentence of one of the stories, my uncle died three times in the space of one week. He began his death marathon on the Tuesday, right after he came back from the slaughterhouse. And I just think that is an absolutely brilliant opening. Um, you know, instantly hooked because you're just like, what? He died three times in the space of one week. And then the, the, the term death marathon, I think is great. And the fact that it was right after he came back from the slaughterhouse, that gets me even more intrigued. Um, so I, th I think that was a brilliant opening to that story. So those are the two books that I kind of wanted to talk about today, which are the short stories that are on the long list for the Man Brigade International Prize, both of which I absolutely loved and I recommend wholeheartedly. Um, if you've read them, if you're reading them, if you're interested in them, let me know all your thoughts, your feelings, all that good stuff. Um, I think these are great. Um, 
I, 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 I,